Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to do a diamond painting, which is basically like a canvas. My mom was so nice enough to get to get this for me. And her channel will link down below. And I'll also say it's Lovecraft Forever. She was nice enough to give me this, and I'm gonna do a video about it. So it just comes in this little packaging. And she gave me a golden retriever. So these are the beads. It comes with tweezers and little tools. And I think some baggies. I'm not sure about this. But she gave me this little cute thing painting. And this one's partial. So you don't have to do every little dot. Just the ones with the symbols. And we like to straighten them out. So I'll be right back. So I'm going to show you how to straighten it out as soon as you get it off out of the packaging. So what you do is since there's a little plastic layer, you you grab it like halfway, trying not to get anything. You put your arm down, you put it down, and then you just rub it. So that's half. I already did half off camera. Then I'm going to do this to the other side. So I'll just do it right where the wrinkles end. I don't know. Right where the wrinkles end, put my arm there, and then just straighten it out like that. And I did not finish this off. <laughs> so you could always just redo it like I did. So this is all straight if you don't like crinkled plastic on top. And here are all the beads. They come in a nice packaging. And it opens right here. That's a nice thing. So it comes with a little pen with tweezers and a little tray to put your beads and some wax in a little baggie which is nice. And then here comes all the beads. This one was off but here this is a big bead. There's some big and some small and some like this which is really pretty. And then the beads that go with it fully are always together so you just grab some scissors cut it down the middle which I'll show in a second and then here are the few other beads which are also big and once in the bag so I'll come right back and show you how to cut them so I came back with some scissors and I also wanted to say something with washi tape and diamond paintings, I don't need to use it this time, but sometimes on the bigger canvases, you need this so then your arm doesn't stick because sometimes there's a residue of glue on the outer rim of the canvas and that does not feel too good by it sticking. So what me and my mom do is grab some washi tape, like one that matches the picture kind of, and then we go all the way around the end, and I, I let her do that so I don't want to mess it up. And then we have little containers we have the lit and just the container bottom and where you can get these are from the dollar store and also you can get these from like bar restaurants that have like barbecue sauce or whatever and just ask for a few of those empty that's what we do or we just go to the dollar store so what you do is you want to make sure with these lines that are attached you don't want to cut too close so where the beads fall out you want to cut straight where that beaded line is or close by it so then you don't open the beads and once when you cut it like this and put it in a box or a baggie you, or a container you don't want to cut the number because that goes with the numbers on the side of the canvas and you need to know where to place them and what symbol so you don't want to cut that, but you just want to cut like right there where the numbers aren't. And then as soon as you dump the beads in the container, you can cut out the number and then place it in. And then when you go to that symbol, you can put it in there and you can find it easily. So I'll be right back in all the containers and I'll show you the finished product. This is what I've done so far and these are were the beads that were stuck together in the baggies and this is what I did and I said I cut out the numbers and that's exactly what I did so pretty this one's number nine so 
these are all done, but I wanted to show you how to cut these ones out because these are bigger ones, but they have stickers on them and they're not part of the bag. So I just want to show you how to do these ones. So I'm just going to get them all out of the top layer. So that's where I can cut them right here and be careful and not to like cut your, your finger. So just pour them, pour, make sure you get all of them out. And then what I do with the stickers is I go in between the bag with the scissors and then I just cut around the sticker, not cut the sticker, but around it. And then I just put it in like that. And then there, these are gorgeous yellow ones. I really like them. So that's how you do these ones. And most likely you guys will have extra. Oh, this one's hard to put on. Usually, I don't do these ones. I usually put them in bags. So that's what I do. I'm gonna move these aside so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm not gonna use washi tape today. I don't feel the need to because it's not sticky around the rim. So I'll put all of them right in here. And make sure you don't lose the bag to these, like my bag is right here. Make sure you don't lose it or you will not know where to put what. So I always do one color first. And this would also be fun diamond painting if you have a kid or someone that likes to do relaxing stuff because this is really relaxing and calming and it's a really nice thing to do. And I prefer doing the animal ones though because I prefer color and I did a daisy one that took a while because it was quite big and that was my second ever diamond painting I've ever done. And comment down below if you ever tried diamond painting and if you like it or not. I like it, but I have to be in the mood for it for me, and I find this so cute, so I kind of have to do it. <laughs> so, that's what I do. So, I'll be right back once I finish these. I got the pen out from that little kit. We already put the wax in it, but this is what comes with it. It shows little wax and tweezers. So today, what I'm going to be doing is number four, which is this one right there. And it's in the grass, so I'm going to do this little area. And number four is right here. So and it also comes with a little tray. So I'm going to be putting the beads in here. You don't want to put too much beads or it'll overflow, so I'm just going to do a little. So I'm just doing a little demonstration. So I'm going to shake it to get them all straight and then tap it on the back. So they're kind of in rows, not like that. So I'll just do this. And some of them are going to be stuck together, that's fine. You could just rub them like I'm rubbing them right now. But usually that never happens. So don't copy this way, but I'll usually shake it so it's in rows or it's facing upwards where you can see the shiny part. And then you just go on it, which I will show in a second as soon as I clean all of this up. Okay, so what I will do is shake it a little bit and tap it on the back like that. So how you, if this is what you would see a little shiny green top or whatever color. So you will grab a little piece of this and pull it back. And I forgot to say, for the wax, you have to pull off this little protection sheet on it. Cause it's like a little plastic if you can see. So I'll just pull it back, hold it, and I'll just pick up one bead and then place it on that symbol. And make sure you only place it on that symbol or it won't turn out like 
it shows on the canvas. So I'll probably do just a couple more and then there, you know how to diamond paint. And comment down below if you want to see more diamond painting videos or something different. And you could also do it with friends and family. So I'll just do this leaf and then there. Make sure you try to place it as best as you can on the symbol so you don't see the symbol underneath it. And all you'll see is a pretty shine to it. I love that. Oh no, two are stuck. So I'll just do this quickly. And I'm going to do it on video, so... Ah! Oh no, two fell out. <laughs> these are really tricky. A lot of these are stuck together, I don't know why. Oh yeah, you could also get a dryer sheet to unstick them. And my mom's in the background. <laughs> Doing her diamond painting. Make sure you're on camera. I am. Yeah, she's also doing diamond painting at her Hello desk. Hello, everybody's captain, subscribers. Her. She's doing a great job for her first tutorial. She does bigger canvases, and she finished them in like three days. I'm like, how? Once she had this multiple piece one that you can hang up on your wall in the frames and she finished it in like two to three days. I'm like, wow. Okay, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. As you can see, I placed all the beads on the line. I'll do a close up. So as you can see, I did all the beads on the line and they're so shiny. I really like it. Ooh, I don't want it to go. <gasps> So comment down below if you would like to see more tutorials like this or how to make or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below, subscribe, and share. Bye.